Hello, good morning everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. Anacleto B. Melendez, the founder of the Beautiful Heart Foundation and the uh, president of CHARM or Center for Holistic Alternative and Restorative Medicine. And today I am very blessed to have a friend who visited me here in Hayward, California. His name is Louis Ocampo and I would like him to introduce himself and give us a little bit of his background. Say good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon, uh, Doc uh, Anacleto. And I'm so happy I just traveled from Palo Alto to drive here in Hayward. Okay, so uh, in the Philippines, we are really well known to be an agricultural country. Anything you plant, like here in California, anything I plant, I, it grows. So you might as well take advantage of that gift from God. Uh, and uh, I think uh, that's the way to go. Make uh, the human resources are there, the farmers, the fisher folks, the intelligent and talented Filipinos in the cities, uh, the, the flora and fauna, which is very, uh, you know, they are just there, whether in, in the cities or in the provinces, we have everything. I would even call the Philippines as a holy land. We're so gifted there. Yes. Yeah, it's just that people don't recognize that sometimes. They think that the way to live, the way to earn is to go overseas, you know. But just staying in the Philippines. It's already a blessing. It's a blessing, yeah. You have fresh air, you have enough water, you have... Uh, everything is free in the Philippines. And everything is cheap. <laughs> Everything is cheap as well, so that we have to recognize and we have to glorify God for that. <laughs> yeah, I, I am into planting. You see at the backyard, you can see my vegetable garden. Yes, actually, I was amazed with your food. with your yeah. place here in Hayward. Yeah, that uh, it looks like I'm in the Philippines. Yeah, I have uh, I have most of my vegetables are really Filipino vegetables. Uh, at the back, you can see ampalaya, and you can see the squash. I have some beans growing, I have some acetaba and onions and gabi over there. So uh, uh, mostly uh, Filipino vegetables, herbs and even fruits. I started uh, planting uh, uh, calamansi and of course avocado and uh, the other ones are apples and plum. Any kind of fruits and vegetables, you know, especially the ones that would stain white linen. The harder it is to remove the stain, the higher the antioxidant properties of the fruit and vegetables. That is how I tell people. You want to eat something and you want to make sure that it has an antioxidant effect. You squeeze the fruits, you squeeze the vegetable in a white linen. If it stains and you can hardly remove the stain, that that's, is high. That's good. That is high in antioxidants. That's what I'm telling other people in the early years of my holistic health practice. Um, Though there are already studies that Ampalaya, our Ampalaya, what is the uh, what is the scientific name of Ampalaya? Anyway, I, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, our Ampalaya or the, the bitter melon, they say. Yeah, bitter uh, melon. Yeah, the bitter melon has that capacity to rebuild the eyelet cell of longer hands, which is really the cells producing insulin. So the reason we have diabetes is because it either be type 1 or type 2. Well, the type 1 is the one that is juvenile. There is really a problem with insulin production. While the type 2 is the adult onset. And the adult onset has also something to do with insulin. Not much insulin is being produced in the pancreas because of the damage of the islet cell of pancreas, islet cell in the pancreas. So what the Ampalaya would do is to repair the damaged islet cell of longer hands. We call it islet cell of longer hands. Islet to, cell of longer yeah, hands. Yeah, uh, producing the insulin. So if you repair that, especially in adult onset, then you start producing insulin, which is really the hormone that supposedly would act on blood sugar or glucose. It, it, what I'm telling about uh, the ampalaya, if yes. you can eat the ampalaya leaves or the, the vegetable raw, or if not, at least 
uh, cook it. There is something in at Ampalaya. And I think the same when you have diabetes, you have some other complications as well. Uh, your kidneys may fail because of diabetes. Your heart may fail because of diabetes. Your eyesight may fail because of diabetes. Your hearing will fail because of diabetes. Your sense of touch, your nerves will fail because of diabetes and a lot of other complications. So as a member of the Lions Club, you and I as Lions Club yes. members, we are very strong in our fight against diabetes, against blindness, and blindness is one of the complications of diabetes. So uh, we are trying to advocate that if you can prevent the onset of diabetes, especially the adult onset, type, the type two, the type two, you know, you have to avoid, as I've said, sugar. The complications are deadlier than, yeah. di than the diabetes itself. You see, uh, you can be diabetic, but you have to control the, your blood sugar level. I support still the use of uh, hypoglycemic drugs like metformin and glyperide and other pharmaceuticals. I support the use of insulin, injectables, especially in very high levels of uh, blood sugar that would result to diabetic coma. So these drugs are very effective for emergency purposes to instantly lower uh, the very high, when I say high, the blood sugar level will be in the range of 400 to 600. And usually we get these patients in the emergency room in ketoacidosis, diabetic ketoacidosis, meaning to say they are in diabetic coma, they are, they could hardly be awaken up, they are almost uh, comatose, almost dead. So in those cases, that's the role of the insulin, the uh, uh, hypoglycemic drugs, the intravenous fluids. So do not uh, take for granted diabetes because you may end up dead because of diabetic ketoacidosis and diabetic coma and prevent it especially even though you don't have it yet it, but I would still advocate that the best form of medicines would come in its natural packaging meaning to say you have to plant your own Acetaba, which is also a very high in antioxidant. You have to plant your own malungay. You have to plant your own uh, ampalaya and other vegetables and fruits because that would ensure that what you plant is free from insecticides, free from fertilizers. And that is really what I would like to push for Project Green Ministries. That's nice. Uh, yeah. Um, Anything that's coming from God, not tainted by artificials, chemicals, eat it raw, take it from the tree, like I have plums there. You either take it from the tree or take it from the ground when it falls and it's still edible. Eat it, squeeze it if it's lemons. I have lemons at the back, calamansi, squeeze it and drink it fresh. Fresh, eat it fresh.